So, tell me how it happened. Well, it began like any other morning in my flat. Texting my girlfriend, telling her how much she means to me, and then starting my daily exercises, keeping my body in shape. Grabbed out a harmless butter knife, waiting for my breakfast to arrive. And then I heard it. Someone had just broken into the flat. Could they be here to kill me? I'll steal my one of a kind Ghostbusters plunger. I knew it couldn't have been Kerry. Because she was still in bed. I could tell by the heavy thumps on the floorboard that this guy was huge. It's like the whole earth was shaking. And then he, there he was. I came across him, holding some form of machete in the kitchen. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't my house. Oh. I ran back. He caught me off guard, knocking me to the ground. By the time I managed to free myself, he was out of sight. <laughs> I knew he wouldn't leave until he got what he wanted. I couldn't find him anywhere. He must have known it was an unfair fight. For you? For him, of course. I thought which room was he in? Was he in the walls? Suddenly I heard a squeal in the room next door. He was attacking Kerry Post, my flatmate. Of course, he must have been after a rare jewel encrusted stilettos. Whatever the hell they are. Why didn't I think of that before? A lot of people might think that how I acted that day was somehow heroic, as like my whole life had been leading up to this point. Dang. I see he'd already got to it before me. I was too late. Looks like I scared him off though. Your flatmate is accusing you of physical assault to the first degree. What? You saying you don't believe me? Why? Book him, boys. <laughs>